the only one that adds expensive camera gear to their basket to see how much it will cost to bankrupt ourselves. However, in this video, we're going to be checking out the cheaper equipment. Equipment that gives you bang for your buck. Here is some essential film gear that will cost you a hundred pounds forward slash dollars or less. I'm going to keep this short and sweet as possible as we've got a few things to get through in this video. But just before we do get into this list, everything that I mention will be in the description with links of course. But like I said, short and sweet. So let's jump into the first one. Now, if you don't know what a pro mist is, you're in luck. A pro mist basically goes over your lens and gives it a haze-like effect without the haze. It helps soften and bloom the highlights, giving it a smooth, almost dreamlike effect. And what I feel is a more cinematic look. It also helps a little with smoothing out skin. Now, I own a Tiffin Promise, which vary in price between 80 to 150, depending on the size and the strength. I've also recently bought one from a company called Tide on Amazon to test it alongside the Tiffin. And it's not far off, to be honest. And this one costs around 50 pounds. So I would highly recommend if you're just getting in to the Promis shooting style. Whichever you buy, I can almost guarantee you'll become addicted to using them in your videos. So thank me later. So camera cages are like a good jacket with lots of pockets. You have plenty of places to put your stuff and it's got that added layer of protection. With a cage, if you want to mount anything to your camera, you have plenty of places to do so. And that goes for handles, mics, lights, monitors, etc. You've got enough threads to be able to mount them to any part of your camera, especially if you have a full cage. Another way I use my cage is by mounting my tripod plate to the side. So when I want to film Instagram reels or YouTube shorts, I can literally just swing my camera around and I've now got a vertical shooting rig. Camera cages are my new must have. And if you're just getting into filmmaking, then I'd say grab one as soon as you can. The Aperture MC Light. When I bought this light, I thought this is going to be one of those purchases that I never used. However, I can't tell you the last shoot that I've done where I've not used this light or it's not coming handy. The Aperture MC Light is small, which means it can go anywhere. There's mounting points for easy placement. There's a rechargeable battery, so you don't have to worry about buying batteries all the time. It's magnetic as well, so you have the added ability of placing this anywhere on a metal object. And it can be controlled by an app, which is amazing when you're filming alone and you need that mobile control. For me, this light is irreplaceable, and I think it's well worth the money. Go and grab yourself one. I believe this is around just under £100 or $100. So it's not gonna break the bank and I'm guaranteeing you'll find uses for this in the most random of ways. On the topic of lights, but not exactly a light itself, is the K-clamp. How these work are pretty straightforward. You attach the light to the clamp with a magic arm or a spigot, and then you attach the clamp to whatever it is you need to clamp it to. Of course, you don't have to use it for lighting, you could use it to attach mics, monitors, small cameras like a GoPro. I've always got these in my bag and they haven't let me down yet. I would say if you do plan to use these and you want to attach it to a delicate surface, then use a cloth or something to act as a barrier between the clamp and the surface. But as I said, these are super, super useful and they're relatively cheap as well at around £30 or $30. So grab yourself one, please. You won't be disappointed. Zip ties, zip ties, zip ties. Now these aren't necessarily film equipment as per se, but these little things here will save your life in so many scenarios. I typically use them to 
type people up that owe me money. But aside from that, when it comes to filming, these come in handy in so many ways. I've used them to attach lights to things, keeping charges and wires organized, and loads more random but helpful uses. These are probably the cheapest thing on the list, depending on how many you plan to get, but probably the top three most useful out of the list. Please trust me. And if all else fails, you can always use them to tie those people up that leave your invoice past the 30 day mark. You're welcome. The quick release mount. This little mount here will save you those much needed minutes when you're setting up or packing down at the end of a long day. This will save you having to constantly twist your monitor on and off your magic arm. And as I said, when you're setting up or packing up, it will just help ease that process. Now, how this works is that one end will go into your monitor and the other will live on your magic arm. And of course, the end that lives on your magic arm will twist on, but you'll only have to do that once. And if you leave it on there, you'll simply just have to slot the monitor on and then release the quick release to get it off. And again, this is not expensive at all. Well worth the small investment. You can find these for around £30 for the ones that I've got. And I'm pretty sure they'll do cheaper options. So there you have it. A few must-haves for your video shoots. That you'll find that it's very hard to live without once you get and like I said all of these are under a hundred pounds or dollars now originally this list was meant to be 10 items but I didn't want to make it too long but a part two is coming so let me know if this helped and as always thank you for watching all the links are below peace out